When I think of all the times I tried so hard to leave her, she would turn to me and start to cry. And she promises the earth to me and I believe her. The Traveling Guitar Foundation was basically put together to fund music programs in all the community schools. And basically what we do is we go in and we donate brand new acoustic electric guitars from Dean Guitars, who is one of our major sponsors. Uh, Yamaha keyboards, we deal with D-drums. So we try to bring in um, a variety of equipment that the kids really want to use today that the schools just can't afford because their budgets don't allow for it. In the beginning of the year, I was with um, Alicia Keys, Jermaine Paul, a bunch of artists on her Freedom Tour. And I performed, I played guitar, and we, you know, I got to go out and play Madison Square Garden, a bunch of big arenas. And after I got done doing that, you know, my father, um, who's been a long time uh, person in the music business, uh, he was one of the original Four Seasons, actually the Four Lovers prior to the Four Seasons, so this is going way back. Um, he sat me down after I played the shows uh, with um, Alicia on her Freedom Tour and he said, you need to start thinking about giving back to the kids. I came on board to the Traveling Guitar Foundation probably over the summer. Um, I met Damon Marks and he, we were talking, he was telling me about the foundation and you know, music is my life. And when I went to school, I was, took a lot of music classes, you know, I, was, I played percussion, I sang. And to me, you know, we need creative people and it starts when you're a child. And if that's missing in school, um, there's a whole, you know, not everybody can be a banker and a, or a lawyer. I mean, it's great to have that as a profession, but we need creative artists, we need artists. My role in the foundation is to come into the schools and put on the performances for the students. And basically we just sing and have fun with them, bring them up to the stage and let them sing along with us and dance. And they, re they really have a lot of fun with us. We perform songs for the kids and they just get really excited and then at the end, Melanie comes on the stage with me and we sing a song together and the kids come up on stage and they get to get involved with the concert. We recently did a show at the Teaneck Middle School and uh, it was uh, one of uh, the more special schools for me because it was um, really heartfelt. The, the principal, the staff were really genuinely into it, uh, the way that they prepared for the show, the way that they put it together, spoke about it to the students. Um, it was really exciting. Um, there were 600 students in the crowd, which was the largest crowd that we played in front of as a foundation, and they were really into it. It was wonderful. They have a lot of fun. They express themselves on the stage with me. I dance along with them, get them to open up. And by the end of the, by the, end of the performance, they're having fun, jumping around and dancing. It's, it just brings a lot of joy to me when I get to see these kids. Um, to me, they're the future of the music business. Um, they need a lot of help. The schools need to have some help because for me, it all started in school. Really very heartwarming to me, but it's just, it's, it's amazing what music, what music is to, to people and the fact that we're keeping it in schools and, and helping all these kids, and especially maybe somebody blossoming. You know, you never know. The next Robert Plant could be in one of these schools. You know, to, to be part of the Traveling Guitar Foundation and paying tribute uh, to, to John Lennon's work in life, and at the same time, working it into the curriculum and having our students uh, involved not just you know, in their classes, not just you know, memorizing things and learning uh, theory, but actually you know, seeing how a concert works and seeing how it is to work with on a professional level. Uh, I think it's just it's incredible that we've been able to pull all that together for one event. It's extremely, you know, one of the most exciting things I've, I've been involved with. So many music programs are, are in need, and you know the, the work that Damon does, really bringing in you know professional musicians, the music industry, and, and donating these badly needed instruments to the schools, and, and mentoring some of the young uh, students there, I just think is a terrific thing. So I had thought about I, John Lennon has been a hero of mine, and I wanted to do a tribute concert. His music is timeless, so I think it's. Uh... You know, he's, it's wonderful what he did. His lyrics really have meaning to them, and when you listen to them, you really get the feel of what he's trying to say. It's easy if you try, no hell below us, above us only sky.
sky Imagine all the people Living for today you. Throughout the night so far, all these different students actually and some other local bands have been performing John Lennon music because tonight is you know a tribute to John Lennon and his legacy is his music. So the thought is if John Lennon didn't have access to an instrument or music, we wouldn't be here tonight celebrating his music. If you would like to make a donation or find out more about events and a lot of things that are going on today with the Traveling Guitar, you just have to visit www.travelingguitarfoundation.org. I think people should get involved in the Traveling Guitar Foundation because too many schools put all their monies into, oh, let's have a new football field. But not everybody is an athlete. You know, not everyone is going to be the next great baseball player. And to me, the arts are very important. The arts have been my whole life, whether you're an artist, um, whether you're a writer, whether you're a musician. Um, and the fact that that whole, that whole creativity department could be gone is just, it scares me. So the fact that the Traveling Guitar Foundation is here to keep it going, it's very important. <laughs>